Hey, salut tout le monde, c'est Arthur Morgan. Et nous nous apprêtons à rejoindre Micah à Hansburg pour une sombre affaire. Inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is arriving at dawn. We'll wait it out here. Get down behind these crates so no one sees us. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderland robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best, 
I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Noise, Arthur! Noise! You're down to the dog! Oh, oh shit! Pinkertons! What the hell have you done, Dutch? Thank you. 
take the horses from that coach. Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on. All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us all. Go run. Okay. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are going to need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Hamish. Arthur! <laughs> Come in. You said, uh, we could go for a hunt. 
I did. There's this huge she-wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but she can wait. <laughs> Let's talk a while. Sure. <clears throat> so what do you do? Me? Uh, <laughs> I'm a wanderer. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. Funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer, man. The bodies lay so thick, you could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. <sighs> Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. Ooh-wee! <laughs> what have we here? She's right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. She's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Come on. She went around to the left. Around the lake. She's down here somewhere. She's not gonna wait around. Come on. Wolves shouldn't come so close to people. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. It's a feeling with which I can sympathize. This ain't a country for wild animals, nor wild men, neither. You hear that? Yep. Quickly now, this way. Up there. On the outcrop, you see her? Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with you. We're on to her. Come on. Okay. Damn! I can't see her. Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. Uh, you loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. Whoa there. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. Their dinner. Now, where'd she get to? My guess, she's gone somewhere over there. Well, there's a whole lot of over there. That's the problem. There she is. Got shy all of a sudden. You got some extra miles in you tonight. Oh, if we gotta chase her, let's chase her. All right. Come on. Quick! Why we got eyes on her? Damn it! Too slow! It looks like she's headed into the woodland. Track her through the scrub. Better to be on foot. Send your horse somewhere safe. Get going, girl. There's a wolf about. She went in there, all right. We got a tracker. Now you want to take the lead, or shall I? If you don't mind, I'd like to. Okay, get tracking. I'll be close behind you. Got the trail this way. Right behind you. Take it slow. You see anything yet? Just tracks. Get her. Well, what's the worst that can happen? She runs off with a chicken. Well, I'm fine with losing chickens, but I lost a leg already. 
and I gotta pull down my pants to shit in wood, so. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to lose that. Hey, up there. Is that the she-wolf? Read it off my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? God damn! Over here! Over here! Uh. <laughs> damn you! Son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at them. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> they brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. It's still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't <laughs> either. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. A wolf, you gotta be to get this big. Almost a shame we killed it.
Et après cette petite partie de chasse avec notre nouvel ami Amish, nous allons nous laisser là, sous ce ciel étoilé. Ciao tout le monde